Amnesia and in today's video I will be reacting going to the finale of Kuma 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 Bear. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 and 3, 2, 1, go. I cannot believe we're already here. I knew this was going to take six weeks but I didn't expect six weeks to go by so freaking quickly. Originally, I wasn't even going to watch this today because um, I had like a really bad heat stroke today. I, oh God, it, it was bad. I, I went out to Walmart with my mom and I hadn't eaten anything or drank anything yet. Um, so we come back and I felt like I was going to faint and such. So I came home, put the groceries away, ate my food, and then I went to sleep for like, an hour or two and I was really tired and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this today and I was like I might have to do this tomorrow but after sleeping felt a lot better because it was more like a stomach ache and such and so <laughs> it is what it is I just hate that we're done with this show. Like, it really sucks. Like, oh my god. Because I... Mm, now, all I'm going to have to do now is just catch up with the books. Because I still have not finished book one. Maybe I'll have time to read it tomorrow or... Um, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah? I don't know. Because I got a lot of stuff to get done. Plus... So the fact is we're in a new damn season of anime and I'm like, what days do I have off to get other shit done and stuff? And, and it's super crazy because between doing seasonal shows and Patreon shows and then shows on the side, it gets a little hell of, um, overwhelmed. And then plus the fact is people will ask me like, oh, hey, like, you got time for this? This seems really good, and I'm like, I don't know if I do and such, because, like, I'm trying not to watch a lot of shows on Saturday, because, um, as of this Saturday, it's three shows plus one more, which would be pretty here, so that makes four shows on Saturdays, even though that's not coming out until, like, nine o'clock at night, but I don't want to be, like, too overwhelmed and possibly get burned out by watching so many shows, even though, like, in the beginning when I started doing this, I was like, I'm gonna watch everything! <laughs> All in one freaking week, and people wonder how the hell I do it, and I'm like, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fine. I don't worry, the bear is going to come to you in a couple of minutes. Pack up what? You're not going to pack up like all the books and everything. You think you're going to skip and run out of town? Honestly, sir, no offense, he doesn't really care about that. Poor Yuna, yeah. That was me earlier today. 
Because I didn't go to bed till about 4 o'clock in the morning after getting, like, the first half of my nails done. So I got to do the second half and finish everything else. And I got to do that tomorrow with my mom. Yuna. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Yeah, that's everybody when they first wake up. Oh, damn. You're right. problem. still tells me she is gonna do something about the cocking because that's the biggest thing that's in her way before we're done with this series entirely because I have no clue what the hell the final episode is gonna be out Ugh, I can't speak <laughs> you know you know I totally was just gonna tell everybody in town Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> now it's you like so much. So yet yeah, now, you know, you really need to kill that carcon. But see, the question is, how can you do it when, you know, none of your fire can you know, survive on freaking water? Oh, you're just going to wait until he just pops up like that and just kill it? Had a motorboat. Hmm. 
No. Jumping. <laughs> you know that's going to be impossible. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. I didn't think about that either. Oh my god. <laughs> A leaf. The hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Anything? Are we gonna part it like the Red Sea, like Moses? <laughs> yeah, but then he'll go back into the water. Food, I look good. Even though I can't really eat seafood anymore, I look good. I mean, if you had like what I don't know, vegan sushi in Japan, then yeah, you win me over. If it was just like a avocado roll or something. No, 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 it's fine. I think she does, but she's trying to think of something. <laughs> to just cook the squid? I mean, you know, if we kill it, I mean, yeah, you might as well cook it. Is she going to heat up the ocean? Mm. 
Oh, that's fire, yeah. Big ass worm. If only if she had that like uh the snake that she went against in the very first episode, that also could have helped. That is the weirdest way of making hot pot, but you know what, Yuna, go ahead, you do you. No objections. <laughs> Yuna just likes to help people a lot. Well, yeah, because I think she's going to use the worm as fish bait and kind of go fishing. And then once the squid comes out, she's going to use Kuma Fire and instantly kill it, correct? It's a big ass Alaskan bullworm for SpongeBob! <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Because, yeah, every sea creature has a weakness towards, like, fi I mean, not fish, a worm. And then next thing you know, they get, <laughs> they get yoked. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, hey, should we pull now? Hello? Um, the, the tree! Hello! Stop it. Now she's gonna use the bears as like to hold to seal it inside in the middle. Oh. You would just regenerate your damn legs. Oh my god. This is 
motherfucker would try to get away. This is going to take her all night, possibly. So precious. She did a lot today. I mean, honestly, like, I wouldn't have surprised, like, wouldn't have been surprised out of all, all the ideas to make hot pot by using seawater, your power of over fire, and then the squid, using the fire on the water, but yeah, of course, when you use anything that's going to heat water up, it's instantly going to boil up anything. So, honestly, that was a really smart idea on her, because, like, I literally could not think of anything myself, because I was like, yeah, what the hell are you going to do to defeat a squid? I'm thinking she was going to go out into sea, go underwater or something, but, you know, as she said last week, she even tried to use a little bit of her firepower just to go against it, and it didn't last. So, you say, her wanna, yeah, what the hell are you going to do, child? I mean, like, this is the one fight where you possibly have no match, like, to defeat something. It also felt weird not to have Fina in this episode, even though, you know, last week, like, they, they've been away from each other for a week. So hopefully in the last episode, these two get to see each other again because I miss my child and I miss the relationship of these two because they're the best thing about this damn show. I mean, anything really about Yuna that she does in the first 11 episodes is good, but just the cute little relationship that she has with Mina and the fact that I kind of ship them, they're just adorable and they are the, you know, the mom and dad of this show. <laughs> I mean, because no matter what, it always, it started with these two, essentially, because, I mean, you know, as someone who read the first few chapters of Volume 1, um, it started with these two. And so you want to end the first season with these two because they're the most important relationship of this show. They've been best friends since the beginning of the show, even though I I'm still a little like, why the fuck did they decide to do a filler-type episode as the first episode. I think it, it was the weirdest thing. It's kind of how like I feel with the My Hero series and how every season they do a filler episode. But what they did, what was smart about this last season, or well, the start of this previous season, or the current season really, um, was it was 95% filler, 5% plot for the, like the last uh, minutes of the very first episode. So you're getting like, oh, here's the start of what's all possibly going to happen for the rest of the season. If you've read the manga, you know me. I've only read up to the Shigaraki chapter, but I, I just I want to see these two again one last time. I mean, honestly, we all knew she was going to be able to defeat the Kraken because it's Yuna and we know how badass and powerful and OP as fuck she is. 
and everything. So I'm glad she was able to save this town. And now they're able to go back and uh, people who were fishermen are able to continue their fisherman jobs. And they're able to get fish for their homes, their, their town. And people aren't able to starve anymore. So that's a good thing. And I mean, like I said it once and I'll, I'll say it again. Yuna just really loves to help people. And there are times where she's like, she doesn't accept um, people like giving her gifts or anything. There are times that, you know, there are people who are like, no, 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 I really want you to take this. This is my like appreciation of you because you helped me at a time where I didn't think I didn't know what the hell was going to happen to me. I didn't have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, whatever. And Yuna comes down at the right time just to say, here take this like you need this more than I do and I really love that about her I mean it, it's just so freaking adorable but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode okay final episode in three two one go <gasps> oh. hmm? Why is rice so good? I mean like oh my god Best thing in the world Is it good? Ah. Oh. for her girlfriend no matter what it is and you <laughs> oh. you can see your girlfriend like ah! <laughs> she's a little busy today I mean, you can still hang out with her while she gets her stuff done for the day. Hey, Noah. <laughs> no. freaking thing to clean my nail. Well, yeah, but you know, Yuna has a loophole like always. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, not really if you have Yuna on your hands. Ta-da! 
on her way back, possibly. I mean, ain't that a little soon? Because honestly, you never ask someone, a woman, what her age is. <laughs> Well, I mean, I told her it's better for you to go ahead and meet them. You just had to open your big fat mouth. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh, but you still want to just go at her. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. My heart. God, I'm dying. Oh my god. See, now the question is, because they made this tunnel for everyone, does everybody now have to, like, pay a fine or something? You know how, like, okay, if you've gone from, um, <laughs> if you ever have gone from, like, let's say, Florida or start from Texas and you're on the way to Philadelphia, there are water tunnels everywhere and you always have to, like, sometimes... For certain things pay a fine just to get over through the tunnel and everything which is the re really honestly one of the coolest things about going on your way to philadelphia or new york city in my opinion always love that <laughs> oh <laughs> Mm-hmm.
I'm hungry. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. hmm? She is right. Yeah, you can, Pina. Mm-hmm. Why don't you ask her to go with her? baby like I really just want her to say how she truly feels but I think she just she's scared anybody would be scared of telling someone who you really care about like your feelings and wanting to be really honest you know She just feels empty without you know like she doesn't have anything else to do You got this. Mm. Baby. 
Oh, I don't like this. I want her to just tell her. And be like, I miss you. I want to be with you. I want to hang out with you. This is like every other couple in this series. <laughs> Go on, babe, tell her. She's not there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Noah. <laughs> Poor baby. You know, in season two, she's probably going to find out more about the Kuma fan club. So, I mean, y'all should just tell her now. <laughs> You can't keep avoiding Yuna like this, babe. You have to talk to her and tell her how you feel. Yeah, but because of the fact is you have established a relationship with Fina, yeah, you're gonna feel empty because you miss her and she misses you. Y'all are technically a couple.
But, Fina, it's okay for you to be selfish. But that's something special to you now. Mm -hmm. You tell her how you feel. Yeah, I mean, hello, it took your new dad forever <laughs> to finally be with your mom. It's complicated. I love you in their language. Stop it. <laughs> They so fucking cute. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> this was so fucking cute. Okay, final thoughts on season one. This was so good. Honestly, waiting until the show was over and then binging it for six weeks. This was good. Really, really good. I love this show. Oh my god. Like, damn. This is so, I think this has to be like the sleeper hit. I think between this and Sleeping Princess for um for last season cuz damn. No. Oh, fucking cute. Oh my god. Stop it. And, but now it just makes you wonder like where in the world they're possibly going to take season 2 and such. Seeing all the characters, well, well not everyone from what I've read <laughs> from the I'm on chapter what 10 11 I don't remember uh from volume one seeing everyone that I already really initially knew and then new characters was interesting um I really hope that like Atola and everyone else who was living on you know what I like to say their hometown kind of reminded me of like Greece and such 
we get to see them again. I, I want to know, like, what's on the outskirts of this small city. I mean, well, no, it's a town, really. Um, besides the kingdom and everything else, and maybe one day, you know, like, her and Fina might go, like, on a cute little adventure again. I, I love, like, just seeing them every single week do something together. And even though there's a moment where they weren't together, they were still calling each other. Now, to... Honestly, I love. I also love the fact is they started with these two, and then they brought it back. They wrapped it up on a nice, neat little bow and brought back their relationship. It started with them and it ends with them for season one. And the fact that these two literally, in a way, confess their love for each other—that was so fucking adorable. I'm sorry, like this is the best couple. <laughs> they just do fucking cute. I mean, I, I, as like someone who really ships a lot of damn anime couples, I mean, they might have to be like in top my new top five. <laughs> they have to probably, they probably just got, they probably just like trumped uh, Elizabeth and Meliodas. <laughs> because I mean, since I stopped watching Seven Deadly Sins because of reasons, um, and I know a lot of people were telling me, like, no, DJ, go read the manga for Seven Deadly Sins. It's so much better than that, um, <clears throat> anime. <laughs> and even though someone like me, so I was like, no, I still want to watch it because I want to see. <laughs> I want to see the interactions between these two. Everybody's like, no, just go read the manga, DJ. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought everybody was adorable in the show. This is a really good series. Deadass. I do kind of hope that um, Noah's sister and her mom get a little more um, development in season two, if they're going to be showing up. I mean, there's a lot of characters that, like, when you get to the final episode, you're just, like, hoping they maybe pop up. But I get it. Like, this was just an episode strictly on the relationship of Yuna and Fina. And we all needed that after, you know, these last few episodes because of the fact is they've been not together for a little while and so yeah of course you know Fina's gonna feel some type of way and same thing with Yuna but I love the way that you know every single time when Fina wanted to tell her something she was scared she was scared about being aggressive and how she was really going to feel towards Yuna it, it's very much in a relationship they are in a relationship no matter how many times you tell me they're possibly they're not they are in a relationship and that is what good communication is in a relationship and how to make your relationship with your significant other stronger and so that's what you always really need to communicate whether there are good things happening in the relationship bad things happening in the relationship whatever and sometimes you have to be that bigger person and being aggressive and saying this is what I want and this is how I'm currently feeling right now and I want you to spend time with me I miss the fact that you know we don't get to spend time together and whenever we are I want to spend time with you you're busy and then you know it could be time time when you come home from like work or whatever and we only maybe get little to none and it sucks like I miss you like don't you miss me and it's like that and that's what it was like oh I can't I hate the fact that this show is over but like I really honestly enjoyed this like last six weeks of watching this show this was just a damn good series and I honestly cannot wait whenever the hell season two is gonna happen i am so freaking happy that i waited until after this show aired from fall anime and finished i was like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take a chance on this and just watch it because everybody kept telling me that this was a really good show and i'm glad i honestly took the chance but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards season one of kuma 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 bear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matcha squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next week for whatever the heck i'll be watching next but until then i will see you guys all next time bye